happy 2023 is that not here in a really long time and i know that i say this pretty much every time that i get on but uh since it's 2023 and it's kind of a new beginning new whatever um i thought i would just hop on and say that my channel is going to kind of go a different way um I have had a lot of health issues. Um, I actually went into the hospital. We had gone to Legoland. Um, the night uh, we left the 17th and we came back the 20th. And then that Thursday, corn husk stuck from popcorn stuck in my in my tooth, and I um, was picking it out on the plane and. I was fine. Wednesday, I was kind of fine. Thursday, um, it was kind of sore, and I went to my doctor um, for a checkup, and I told my doctor, I'm like, it's really sore. I don't know if I, like, infected it, cut my gums or whatever, and she's like, oh, I'll give you this um, swatch. I said, oh, okay. She goes, That'll, if you have bacteria or anything in there, it'll, it'll help it. I said, okay. So, I took it I took two, my two doses that I'm supposed to I got it at two Dan went and picked it up because by that time my my mouth just really 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 hurt and so I went and picked Dan went and picked it up and I um took it at two and then I took it at eight right before I went because I had to get up for an appointment at like six to be where where it's at by seven and at 10 o'clock my face started swelling now I've had Bell's palsy twice on this side of my face which is very uncommon and it's very uncommon I had it when I was 14 and 18 which is very very uncommon so I'm really cautious like I still kind of have side effects when I get tired my face kind of droops um, and I don't have control over this eye watering um, that's why sometimes I wear my contacts, sometimes I wear my glasses. Mostly when I'm tired or I'm sick or I'm just getting over a cold, I'll wear my glasses. Um, because this eye water so much that my contacts will just fall out. Anyways, so I um, told Dan, I said, my face is kind of swelling. And he goes, yeah, it's kind of drooping. And I'm like, well, that's weird. I said, it might just be because I irritated. Now, my gums were fine. My teeth didn't hurt on this side. Nothing hurt. And I'm like, well, maybe, and I have a lot of nerve damage from Bell, having Bell's palsy. I have a lot of nerve damage. Um, so I don't really feel pain a lot on this side unless it's very intense pain. So I'm like, he's always kind of drooping, you know. I'm like, well, I'm just going to go back to bed. And it was kind of puffy. So, and I'll insert pictures to show you. So at 1.30... I woke up and Dan was still awake and I said, Dan, it's getting worse. And he goes, go put hot, hot and cold. So I did 20 minutes hot, 20 minutes cold. And I guess I, and then I just went to sleep. And at 4.30, I woke up in excruciating pain. And my face, you couldn't even see my, my, my eye was completely swollen shut, completely swollen shut. And I it was like clear down here. And I'm like, there's something wrong. So I woke up Dan and I said, Dan, there's something wrong with me. And he's all, you need to get to the ER now. I hate going to the ER, especially our ER because COVID, RSV, flu. I don't want any of that. I've had COVID three times, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. So at fourth, so I drove myself in at four, cause you know, Billy was asleep. Dan was asleep. I'm like, well, I don't want to wake anybody up, which now they're like, wake me up. Blah, blah. So I drove myself in. And it's like 20 minutes from our house. And there was nobody in the ER, thank God. And so I went up and the guy and the guy was kind of looking down at his thing. And he goes, can I help you? And he looked at him and he goes, oh. So I got in in less than 20 minutes, which is never happens in our town. So I went in and I got right in, right back. They said, oh, you might be. And I told them what had happened. And they're like, oh, you might be having an allergic reaction. And I said, you know, I took the mouthwash, blah, blah, blah. I told them what happened. And... So they did, they gave me the stuff to like, um, to stop allergic reaction and nothing worked, nothing. And so by this time it was, I got back there at five, I got in at four, 445. By the time I got into, it was like five and then they started the stuff, it was like 530. Then they ordered a CT scan and I was like, oh, this is 
this is this is this is bad if they're ordering a CT scan with iodine so they had to put the stuff in my and then they did a drew a bunch of blood. I mean I'm still bruised from it if you can kind of see I have it all I mean that's the only place they could get my I I have my IV was in my arm and so they did a bunch of I mean vials of blood vials and vials of blood and they did the CT scan they came back and they're like you've gone septic and of course I'm freaking out because septic is bad and they said that I had it looked like I had a filling and my filling fell out in the back of my teeth now mind you my teeth never hurt my gums were kind of sore but my teeth never ever hurt and I'm like hmm. well my third tooth over has to have a root canal done and I've just been waiting because you know we live in such a small town that it takes forever to get into a dentist so I um have been waiting to get this root canal done so it's like a partial root canal and they just need to finish it so I um I'm like okay and they're like, we're gonna admit you. And I'm like, you're gonna admit me? Mind you, this is the Friday before Christmas. <laughs> I'm like, okay, how long am I gonna have to stay in the hospital? They're like, well, <laughs> you've gone septic and uh, have you been around anybody that has MRSA? And I'm like, I just went to Legoland. Like, I don't know. I'm really cautious about using hand sanitizer, you know, but I, we were at Legoland. I could have touched something, put something in my mouth. I mean, you know, I don't, I wasn't really vigilant about it like I was before. And he, they're like, well, you know, and so the doctor goes, well, we're going to admit you. I said, okay. And they're like, we'll probably keep you after Christmas. I lost it. I've never been away from my kids or my mom or my husband during Christmas. Well, besides whenever we were divorced and I lost it. I lost every amount of, and I kept it cool, every amount of emotion I had. So I called Dan and I said, they're admitting me. He's all, I'm on my way. I'm going to drop Bentley off at your mom's and I'm on my way. Okay. So he comes in. By the time he made it in, it was like, I want to say eight or nine. I stayed in the emergency room. Okay. So I had my own room in the emergency room until three o'clock when they could get me my bed upstairs. So then I went upstairs. I had an amazing staff hospital amazing ER staff amazing doctors down there they were very nice to me they were very like we're gonna get you out of here as soon as we can I got upstairs to the third floor and I had amazing nurses up there I mean amazing nurses up there they were really good to me I got to keep my own clothes on I didn't have to have one of their stupid things but because RSV is so big COVID so big the flu is so big we weren't allowed out of our room. My room was huge, but we weren't allowed out of our room. So we had to get these shots in our bellies, which I had a reaction to that. So they did all these tests. I had to have my blood taken every day. Um, well, they put me on antibiotics down at the emergency room and I had to have that done every six hours. So I had these heavy dose of antibiotics every six hours through my IV. Plus I had a shot because I couldn't get up and walk around but I had a reaction to it. I mean, my whole stomach is completely bruised. So I do, sorry, I do all that. And I'm in the hospital Friday, I'm in the hospital Saturday, Christmas Eve, and I'm losing it, right? So they come back in and they're like, we know what the problem, they're still like um, trying to figure out what's going on, what caused all this. And they said, we figured out what it was. And I said, okay. They're like, the um, <sighs> mouthwash that you used, you're allergic to it. It has Im something that imitation crab has in it, which I'm allergic to imitation crab, is the same stuff that's in um, the mouthwash. Okay. But I it caused so much damage in my mouth. Okay that I had to be on these antibiotics. I did get out on Christmas day at like four. So I did get to spend Christmas day, but it was late. Um, but I caused so much damage because then I went to the dentist, my dentist on Monday, Tuesday, but I caused so much damage in my mouth that they have to remove my third tooth. <sighs> this is the part that made me mad. They have to remove my third tooth, okay? They have to remove another tooth over here because it had gone over here. And I'm gonna get like a, like a, 
like a bridge or something. But this all has to heal for three months until I can get that other one. So I'm literally gonna be toothless and I am not happy about that. But I'm hoping I can get it done and then be on Christmas break or uh, summer break. But I, you really can't tell like when I talk this third tooth. So I might be okay. I don't know. I'm kind of really worried about that. But it is what it is. It's my health. And they said that, and my doctor said that if I, or the doctor at the hospital said if I would have waited, because I was going to go to my appointment and then go to the urgent care, which would have been around nine, that if I would have waited until nine, that I would have died because it was going to my brain, which is scary. I mean, anyways. So, with all that, um, I haven't been vlogging at all. And there's some other things that had happened with my health. So I have decided that I'm gonna take my channel a little different. Um, I mostly am doing this channel because um, I wanted to, I, I love, I love everything about making vlogs. Like that's just something I like to do. And my job is so demanding that I needed an outlet. And I craft all the time. Like it's just something I do. It's like normal, it's like doing dishes. But I wanted something that was creative. And this is something like my family, my daughter could watch, you know, wherever. And so this is gonna be more like, um, I'm gonna have, and we're starting to remodel our home. So I'm gonna have like, like remodeling videos and I'm gonna have sit down and talk videos and I'm gonna have, you know, racing videos and craft videos. And it's just, just gonna kind of be just like a, all around it's not just one pacific thing on my channel i don't really know exactly what it's going to be i haven't really decided that yet but i know that it's going to look different than other vlogs and that's okay because i'm i don't want to be like everybody else um because i'm not like everybody else so um yeah i you know i might do some grocery hauls maybe i don't know groceries are so expensive but that's just you know i just want i want people to see how we live in a small town and how i live as a small town redoing our home you know those kind of things like i just want people to see how real people live and i'm not gonna fake it I'm not gonna think I'm gonna be real with you guys. Like, I am a real person. What you see is what you get. Like, there's sometimes that my hair looks like this. There's sometimes that I wear baggy clothes and I don't really care. There's sometimes that I don't get out of my pajamas all day. There's sometimes that my house is a mess, like right now, because I haven't been home. I'm still not even unpacked from Legoland. There's sometimes that, you know, I just don't care. And that's, that's what I want. That's what I want. I want the, the real raw truth. Like that's what I don't want anything to be sugar coated. I don't want it to look, you know, like some, some vlogs. Like I just want it to be real. I just want people to see the true, the true Mandy, the true, what I really am. And whether that gets views, then that's what happens. Mm -hmm.